Good morning students. In our previous class, we have learned few concepts of comparing objects on the basis of their sizes, heights, length, etc. Today, we will be learning few more concepts comparing the objects on the basis of their position. So, let's begin. Our first concept is near and far. The things which we see close to us is near to us and the things which we see away from us that is at a long distance is far from us now moving to our next example the tree which appears big is near to us whereas the tree which looks small is far from us now look at these two images the images which appears big are near like this house and this puppy are near to us while the images which appears small are far from us like this puppy and this house moving to our next example in the first image rahul is far from vijay while in the second image rahul is near to Vijay. Now look at this example. The clown is near to us whereas the tent is far from us. So moving to our next concept that is before, after and between. In this figure you can see the position of egg, chick and hen. The egg is before the chick and the hen is after the chick. Whereas the chick is in between the egg and the hen. Likewise, we have another example of some fruits. Sweet lime. This is a sweet lime. Sweet lime is before the strawberry. Kiwi is after the strawberry. Whereas strawberry is in between the sweet lime and kiwi. Our next example is A doll is before the girl. The robot is after the girl. Whereas the girl is in between the doll and the robot. Moving to our next example. Knife, fork and spoon. Knife is before the fork while spoon is after the fork and fork is in between knife and spoon. See one more example for before, after and between. Let's take first three numbers that is one, two, three. Here two comes after one and three comes after two. Whereas two comes in between one and three. This concept is above and below. As you can see in the image, the cat is above the table, whereas the dog is below the table. Here, Jimmy is above the box and Tommy is below the box. So moving to our next example, as you can see there is a clown holding a balloon and balancing himself on a ball. So the balloon is above the clown whereas the ball is below the clown. Moving to our next concept that is top and bottom. 
The bird is on the top of the flag, whereas the cat is sitting at the bottom of the flag. Likewise, there are two monkeys. One monkey is eating banana while sitting on the top of the tree, while the other monkey is at the bottom of the tree. Now, in the first image, J is at the top of the slide, whereas in the second image, J has slide down, that is, he is at the bottom of the slide. Now, look at this fruit shelf. There are so many fruits. Now, can you tell me where is orange and watermelon? Yes, orange is at the top of the fruit shelf, whereas watermelon is at the bottom of the fruit shelf. Likewise, moving to our next example, tomato ketchup is kept at the top of the food shelf, whereas the toaster is kept at the bottom of the food shelf. Our next concept is behind and in front of. As you can see, two clowns on the screen. The first clown is hiding behind the curtain, whereas the second clown is, st uh, is standing in front of the curtain. Our next example is where a man is hiding behind the sofa while the boy is standing in front of the sofa. Moving to our next example, Sia is behind the curtain while Raj is in front of the curtain. In the first image, the cat is behind the box while in the second image, the cat is lying in front of the box. Now moving to our next position word that is up and down. The arrow points out the position that is the arrow head. This is called the arrow head. The arrow head which is pointing towards the sky is up while the arrow head which is po pointing towards the ground is down. Let's see a few e more examples. Priya is up on the slide while Abhay is down. In the first image, the boy is coming down the stairs, whereas in the second image, the boy is climbing up the stairs. Here we come to the end of today's session. Let's see what we have learned today. Today we have seen few position concepts like far near, before, after, between, above, below, top, bottom, behind, in front of and up and down. Kids, don't forget to recall all the concepts we have learned so far. Keep comparing the objects around you. Thank you.